Well, Aaron, Aaron Peterson Lindbergh from Branch of Forty Middle School and Rebecca Mussetter from De La Viega Elementary School spent their part of their summer digging around in the dirt in Florida and what they uncovered will be used in an ongoing research by the University of Florida. They uncovered it themselves and then we looked at it. One of my students actually looked at it and some of the other staff scientists in the field with, with, with the teachers looked at it and we all realized that they had found some really cool fossil, fossilized elephants. I wonder what the animal was doing in this river system. And if it was juvenile. Erin Peterson Lindbergh on the left and Rebecca Moosetter on the right are school teachers here in Santa Cruz. I had the opportunity to join about 20 teachers across the country and we went with the University of Florida to do a paleontology dig. The first scrape that you have on the bone is exciting, like oh, I found something. Two weeks ago the pair were working side by side with scientists on a dig at an undisclosed site one hour outside Gainesville, Florida. What they uncovered was a five million old elephant fossil called a gomphothier. At first, they didn't know what they had uncovered. They'd said, you know, you might find this, you might find that, but we weren't sure. And, and again, as I moved things away, I got bigger and bigger and bigger. Gomphothier, which is an ancient uh, elephant type animal, and we discovered the tusk, uh, the humerus, and the atlas, which is like a neck bone. Um, and it was amazing. Dr. Bruce McFadden, the paleontologist leading the dig, said this is part of a University of Florida's professional development program. The Florida uh, fossil dig is an extension or a continuation of some of the professional development opportunities that I'm involved in uh, for teachers from around the United States, including Santa Cruz County. Musetta and Peterson Lindbergh not only uncovered the remains of an extinct creature, they got to cast it too. It was then taken to the University of Florida for further study. The pair cannot wait to share the discovery of a five million year old fossil with their students this fall. Santa Cruz County, we have fossils all over the beaches and kids don't always realize that when you walk, you might be finding there's two, two and a half, five million year old fossils every uh, where you step at Capitola, Aptos. So I want them to kind of, through the lens of paleontology, look at the animals, the sea creatures that used to live in this county, help bring it alive for them. I'm so excited to take it back to my students. When I mean, you watch students put their hands on fossils and, and the questions that come out of them, it's just, it's amazing and it, and it makes them a scientist as well. And Peterson Lindbergh also has a 3D printer which created a realistic tooth that students can have hands-on experience with. Aaron. Sounds awesome. All right, thank you, Phil. Dr. McFadden is planning another trip next week with another 11 teachers from the Santa Cruz and Pajaro Valley School Districts. This time, they'll be going to the Panama Canal to collect fossils.